Obadiah 117. But upon them Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Stay tuned as we join Reverend Isaac Kojo under the leadership of Prophet Isaac Anto. And now, today's sermon. Father, I want to bless your name for tonight. We give you praise because you are God. We thank you because you are our God. And we thank you because we are who we are because of you. The Bible says, for we have this treasure in earthen vessels, so that the excellency of the power will be of God. Whatever we are, whoever we are, whatever we have achieved in life, it is because you allowed it. We give you praise of God tonight. We want to have an encounter with your grace and anointing of elevation and promotion. Arise, O Jehovah, for the Bible says promotion comes from you. Tonight, everyone here, everyone here, everyone here in the auditorium of Conqueror's Chapel International, Spinter's Branch, release the unction and the grace for promotion upon us in Jesus' name. Father, the token and the power of elevation. Let it come upon us in Jesus' name. As I pray, I have seen doves released upon people. Immediately I said, in Jesus' name, I saw that doves, a dove came in and multiplied into doves. I am telling you, those of you who are spiritual and want to be blessed will feel it. I see doves and every individual that will enter the auditorium tonight will have that dove of elevation upon them. The dove is a presence of the Holy Spirit. The Lord God will cause every one of us to receive the unction of promotion before we go. From tonight, you shall not be the same. From tonight, you are rising to another level. Many of us will rise several steps above our current level tonight. Some people will go to the next level. Some people will go to the next five levels. There shall be the anointing of promotion. And anybody who has marked time at your current level for too long, the Lord will move you by fire by force. You are about to locate the power of elevation. The power of elevation is coming upon you tonight. The Lord will cause us to move several steps ahead of our current level. Receive that anointing tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we put our hands on that, please? I want to preach the word of God. Amen. And then after that, we'll pray. Please, I want you to pray. Amen. <laughs> Defeating limitation. Amen. You and I tonight will receive the unction to break the power of limitation. Amen. I said you and I tonight will receive the unction to break the power of limitation. Amen. There are many people who are supposed to be eagles who are on the ground as hens and cocks or cockerels. There are many people who are supposed to be eagles who are on the ground as cockerels and hens. Meanwhile, they were destined to be eagles. There are many people who should be flying as aeroplanes, but they are riding on the ground as bicycles, not even as cars tonight. If you are supposed to be an aeroplane, you shall be an aeroplane. Amen. If you are an aeroplane and you don't have the aeroplane anointing, tonight may the Lord give you the aeroplane engine in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Some of us too who are fast cars, like rally, you know the rally cars, they are not normal cars. Their speed is extraordinary. May the Lord give you that speed from tonight. Amen. Yeah. So there are many people like that. There are many people who are supposed to be engineers, but the best they have become is roadside mechanics. And when you meet the guy and he's fixing your car, you know this one is not a roadside mechanic. You yourself can tell that this is an engineer who has been stagnated, who has been brought down. There are many celebrated songs that were never sung. They are in the grave. Because the people who are supposed to sing it were limited. Listen to me, please. Let me make a point to you. This world is wicked. 
The Bible says, the whole world lieth in the hands of wickedness. Is that true? The whole world lieth in wickedness. The Bible says, from the time of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffered violence. And it is only the violent that can take it. Let me tell you the mystery of that scripture. From Malachi, for those of you who are Bible, Bible students, to when John, not Matthew, Matthew is after John, to when John the Baptist started his ministry, there was divine silence on the earth. No prophet, nothing for over 400 years. Until God announced the coming of the Messiah with the birth of John the Baptist. When John began his ministry, Satan understood that the time has come. That a generation that will make him useless was going to rise. And so he rose that anybody who would take anything that belongs to them must fight. So if you are not ready to fight, you are not ready to rise. You must be violent. You see, those who say, uh, me, I won't go to a church that is older than me. Hey, continue. We are not saying change your church. But there are graces. And then so you are there and you are being limited and you know that you are limited. But you have put a limitation on yourself. I won't go to any place that is younger than me. I don't understand. I always used to challenge those people. That do you know that John Wesley, he began Methodist Church. He was not even Methodist on his own, doing what these current preachers are doing. At the time, if people hadn't joined him, you you would not be in Methodist today. So those who say those things, and they have limited themselves, knowing very well that there is a grace somewhere that can help me, but do prefer to be limited. The world lies in the hand of wickedness. Look, even good people, listen to me very well. Because I have lived for a while. Not as old as many of our fathers here and mothers here, but I have lived for a while. Even good people can be agents of limitation to you. Good people who are insecure in themselves can use their insecurity to limit you. Because they see that the speed you are coming with, if they don't take care, but nobody is competing. No destiny is competing with another destiny. Please. You are a singular person with a singular destiny that belongs to you that will affect others. Any man or woman that tries to limit another's destiny has blind witchcraft. Because listen, the ministry of deliverance, the primary focus of the ministry of deliverance is to liberate people to fulfill destiny. The deliverance ministry has one focus to liberate. If you fulfill destiny, you'll be saved. Because in your destiny, you're supposed to be saved. So any ministry that fears the rise of others has lost the focus. So as I am here, I will be very happy to see Minister Judah or Clarence and excel that they are doing well somewhere. That is the talking, the song of my success. When these people under me, they are not, I don't even want to see under me. Who are working with us here? They're not under me. I am under Prophet Isaac Anto. They are working with us here. If I see that they are not making advances in life, I am a big failure. When they are stagnant, so anybody who is afraid of the excellence of somebody, you have blind witchcraft. You are working in contrast. Jesus' ministry was to liberate people to fulfill destiny. Tonight, elevation will locate you and I. Yeah. Uh, if you said it well, I said elevation will locate you and I. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. So there are many books that were never written. Books that were supposed to bless millions. Some book, a book is there that maybe if Thelma, you had read it at the age of 15, your life would have been different from how it is today. 
But the person who was supposed to write it died without writing it. Or somebody stopped them from writing it. And so somebody is languishing in limitation. Because the person died without writing. There are many writers in the grave who were stopped by human beings and powers of darkness. There are many great stars and millionaires in the cemetery who died as poor people because human beings and demons team together to limit them. Listen, know that your destiny is in the hand of God. Anybody who so much as announces in the slightest way that they want to limit you, watch them well. If they give the slightest indication that they are not happy about your excellence, begin to watch. Because listen, nobody was born a nincompoos. If God opened your eye to see the, the well, the spring of resources in you, you will cry for life. The man's mouth and insecurities have limited others with human arguments, not Bible arguments. Human experiences to limit people. It is the height of witchcraft. The power of limitation shall be broken tonight. I said it shall be broken tonight. I just said it shall be broken tonight. A PhD holder in one of the African countries I know. The best job he could ever do was a clerk. Office attendant or something. Office assistant has to be a clerk. PhD holder. The best job he could do was a, an office clerk. Do you know why? A, a close blood relation did not even hide her witchcraft. In the morning, she would come and knock. Come over. Let's give our friend, the friend the name. Ojo. So you are still alive. You are talking. You see, you are talking. Foolish man. And she will go. Next one. So you are still alive. Are you? I'm telling you a real story. The man amounted to nothing. A clerk. One day, he was invited to a church like our own. With the prayer prince who pray after, after this message, he prayed like he was mad. Immediately he left church and went home. The blood relation was standing there. He said, listen, forgive me. Me too, I forgive you. Forgive me, okay? Me too, I forgive you. But they see they don't like you because the prayers you started praying is causing trouble. So I am announcing to you that you are no longer my slave. The person told her, hey, from today we are friends. I have already donated it to the Kuvu. But the prayer she prayed is beginning to cause trouble. So they say, they say I should release you. So today, from now, you are no longer my slave. PhD holder, office assistant. It was from there that he saw that his life was progressing. Lift up your right hand, please. Say any hidden heart. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Your walk daily with the Lord shall be deeper and different this year. You must get a copy of Daily Power Walk with Jesus, a new daily devotional guide by Reverend Isaac Kujo. It is a unique devotional book that focuses on daily Christian living, destiny fulfillment, and deliverance through the scriptures in a consistent quiet time with the Holy Spirit. It is uniquely organized for your good. Get your copy now from Sunny FM's Mini Martin Accra or from Jumia or call 244 1 Welcome back. And now, today's message. Your right hand, please. Say, any hidden household enemy that has caged my rising that has caged my star as i put my hands together and as i pray right now release it and die release it and die i beg you pray this prayer this could be the only prayer why you are here this this night this could be the only reason why you are here tonight 
Release it and die. Release it and die. In the name of Jesus. Please sit down. Just a few days back, I've been having some deep, 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 deep revelations I can't share with you. Deep. The only person I can share with is my wife. I'll just scratch the surface of one. I saw myself in my hometown. My mother's hometown. Called half as knee. I saw myself in some school, B, old school area. And I saw somebody I know in Accra. I will not even mention the person's title um, because I don't want to give you. And the person was saying, was holding snails, removing snails from the shell. Ah, as a deliverance minister, how can me, how can I eat snails? I don't like snails. And naturally, I don't like snails. Listen, it's not, snails are not demonic. I know too much about snails. So I, personally, I don't, it's something I used to like. With palm, 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 soup. This is personal thing. It has nothing to do with anybody. It's a personal decision. But I have decided that I will not eat snails again. Since so many years back. So the person who was saying that, then I saw that I was lying down. As I raised my head, and the person turned into a marabu, a jujuman. With the eye, this eye protruding. And it says he is using the snail to do something for somebody. And said many things. I was there with my first boy. When I woke up, the prayer I prayed, I said, good people, good people, good people, not witches, can even be instrument to stagnate your life because of their personal insecurities. Deep mystery. Deep mystery. This is not church member. This is not, you don't know. Deep mystery. Then I said, wow, this world is deep. So do not let your, listen, we are individuals. Do not let another put a stone on your destiny. And there's progress and you are there. Tomorrow you are not associated with me again and you have been stagnated by them. I'm mentioning deep things though. You must decide. There are things in your life that you must explore yourself. And not that cannot, will not, will not wish to explore it for you. Because humans are domineering. It is in you, it is in me. If you allow them, they will kill your star. It is in Genesis 128, we are domineering. And we do it without realizing that we are destroying others. Let's read a few scriptures. 2 Kings 5, 22 to 27. 2 Kings 5, 22 to 27. And he said, all is well, my master. I said, all is well. My master has sent me. This is Gehazi speaking. Saying, behold, even now there be come to me from Mount Ephraim two young men of the sons of the prophets. Give them, I pray thee, a talent of silver. And two changes of garment. So you know, Gehazi is talking to uh, Naaman. Eh? Naaman had come to Prophet Eli- e- e- Elisha. Elisha didn't take anything from him because prophets are very, they are very proud of what they have. He didn't take anything from him. It's not today's prophets that are begging for money. I want to pray for one man, prominent man. Pray the miracle happened in the hospital. She, he rose. Then the sister came to sit beside me. It's my brother here who took me there. The sister came to see beside me, packaged some 50 Ghana notes. And I said, what is this for? Is that for you? I said, I don't need it. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not praying for him for money. We must make the ministry work respectable and respected. So this guy went to look for the money that the master rejected from Naaman. And they started lying. What we read. Go to verse 23. And Naaman said, be content, take two talents. And he urged him and bound two talents of silver in two bags with two changes of garments and laid them upon two of his servants and they bare them before him. And when he came to the tower, that's Gehazi, he took them from their, land, from their hand and bestowed them in the house and he let the men go and they departed. 25. But he went in and stood before his master Elisha and Elisha said unto him, Whence comest thou? Where are you coming from? 
Gehazi. And he said, Thy servant went no wither. And he said unto him, Went not mine heart, as the spirit of the prophet left him and followed his servant, went not my heart with thee, when the man turned again from his tower, describing what happened behind the walls where he was sitting, he could see when Gehazi went. When he my heart with thee, when the man turned again from his tower to meet thee, is it a time to receive money and to receive garments and all olive yards and vineyards and sheep and oxen and men servant and maid servant? 27, the last one. The leprosy therefore of Naaman shall cleave unto thee and unto thy seed forever. And he went out from the presence of Elisha, a leper as white as snow. Elisha collected double of the anointing of Elijah. Gehazi could have collected triple of the anointing of Elijah. But greed and muff muff and chop chop limited him. The power of limitation of his father's house caught up with him and he lost a lifetime opportunity. Read, read this Ecclesiastes 10 5 and 7, 5 to 7. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, an error which proceeded from the ruler. Verse 6 Folly, that stupidity, imbecile, stupidity is set in great dignity, and the rich. And the rich sit in low place. I have seen servants upon horses. And princes walking as servants on the earth. What happened for a prince to be walking as a servant? The power that limits a man. What happened for the rich man to be in low places? The power that limits a man. There is a power that limits people. Second Samuel 1.27 that's the last but one scripture. Second Samuel 1 27. Second Samuel 1 27. How are the mighty fallen? And the weapons of war perished. This was one, this was a poem that David wrote about Samuel, about Saul and Jonathan when they died. How are the mighty falling? And the weapons of war perished. A mighty man like Saul who killed the Amalekites. And spread Agag, who destroyed the Philistines before. This time, because of disobedience, the power from his father's house came and limited his kingship. He was never supposed to be a king because the rulership and the scepter belongs to Judah. He comes from the tribe of Benjamin. God sidestepped his own order and made him a king and promised him, if you remember, that I will make you king and your children shall be kings if you obey me. And he denied his heritage, his people, his heritage, his children from becoming kings. He was limited. Let's read our last scripture. Psalm 49 verse 20. Man that is in honor and understandeth not is like the beast that perish. There are people who don't know who they are. So men tell them what to do and what not to do. There are people who don't know what they possess, have never prayed to find out who they are. So men dribble their lives. There are people who are mighty. They are gold mines themselves, but they are paupers in real life. There are singers, because I'm coming here, who are stars, but have not found out. And so they are singing anyhow. And anywhere, if some people here, like Comfort, discovered, because that girl is very anointed, who she is. You see, I'm not talking about being proud when you, when you discover, but knowing what is in you, so that now you work towards it to polish it, and you do not make people decide for you to distract you from what you are. When you find out and discover who you are, you will never let men, because of men, they actually know who you are. But they do not want it to manifest. They do not want it to manifest. Because if they allowed you to manifest, it will be too much. There are people who come around you who know who you are. 
by the way you speak, by the things you do. You see, what I mean, I'm putting in us today is for us to discover who we are. So that when people want to mislead you, you tell them, I can't be misled. This is where I belong. And I'm going to focus there. Else, men with their own insecurities. What is the, what's the limitation? Before I even go there, two things you must look out for. Ignorance and limitation are our biggest problem. When you don't know who you are, you will let the devil decide for you. Ignorance. Limitation is inability. Limitation is hindrance or there are hindrances to your moving forward. Limitations are impossibilities. Some of us, we can actually tell ourselves that as for this one, I can't do it. Kojo can do it better. When my two kids were when they were younger, younger, far younger, Jean Pierre started talking. After three months, we started the guy, the boy was talking. Then it cuts completely. But some way, somehow, we're just waiting. Okay, maybe you know, some children talk late, the, the brilliant children they talk late and all of that. Then Michelle came. Then we realized that he wants to say some things, he can't say them. And then we said, Mr. Michelle, tell daddy, hi! When I saw that the first time, anger entered my heart. I laid my hand on her. On him, I said, You! Any distance they have made you lose, recover! I prayed like a mad cow. Held him in my, he knew that I was praying for him. Held him between my thighs. Prayed on him, prayed on him, prayed till I was crying. We don't know what happened within that week. So I saw him expressing himself better than his younger brother. Because they had come after him. One day I slept and woke up. I saw in a trance, you know, I was not dreaming. I was not seeing a vision. I was in the middle of the two. And they were mentioned, they had fired the arrow of celebro, celebrim something. I didn't, I didn't know that one that much. But I saw the people who did it, saw them like this. And I heard it when I woke up. So you don't know it. And then that child becomes stagnant. And the younger one becomes bigger, stronger than the older. And it's not supposed to be so. I see limitation breaking tonight. I said it's a break tonight. Limitation is stagnancy. Limitation is incapacitation. You know you can do it, but something is blocking you. And you feel restless. I can do this, but you don't have the capacity. It could be money. It could be connections. It could be knowledge. It could be school. You're incapacitated. You can go. Limitation is being handicapped. Limitation is blockade to your rising. Limitation is giving, going around in circles without any progress. You are moving, but you are not moving forward. You are moving sideways, but you are not going forward. Limitation. You see activity in your life, but no advancement. Limitation. Lack of improvement. The way the person was last two years, the person sees the same, the, them, themselves the same way. Compared, some even don't see the same way. Some may see retrogression. They've gone back in life. Limitation is being kept down from rising. Limitation is being caged so that you cannot express yourself and do what you're supposed to do. Limitation is anything or anyone hindering you. And, and I put emphasis on anyone. Anything or anyone hindering you from maximizing your potential. God has put something, you know it. And a person says, they will not allow you. That's limitation. That individual is a limiting power. When we were in corporate, the corporate world, we used to have some, a term. I don't know whether it was just limited to my company. We say, Charlie, this thing you're doing is a career limiting move. The HR people career limit move. Because if you do something that your, job, your, your boss doesn't like, when appraisal comes, appraisal, he will see things you don't see. And then instead of giving you seven or eight, he's giving you three or 3.5. In our environment, when we're young, the boys who used to like girls that bosses like, 
When you are doing this, Sally, what you are doing is career limiting move. This thing, mind your business, will come and work. <laughs> the girls in this office, they are out of reach. And many people get their careers <laughs> limited. <laughs> It's a, it, I think it's a joke, eh? You don't know how it happens in the offices. It happens. So your career will be limited. Limitation is boundaries of darkness saying you no to your moving forward. There are boundaries set. Limitation is verdicts and embargoes put on your destiny by wicked powers. Verdicts, pronouncement. A father called, I'm going to pray right now. A father called his children, all of them said, you children of, he mentioned his name, none of you should try to be bigger than me. No, listen to me. This is the problem I have. But I can't see my problem right now. Why is that I don't want my son to be bigger than me? It's the same with the men who don't want their wives to be bigger. If her destiny is to be bigger, why not? Why not? No, why not? Are you a wizard? So you married the woman to, to limit her life. You children, don't be bigger than me. Then the, the other boy, he was a Christian, but nominal Christian. Sorry. Nobody's telling my, my, my shirt. My button is gone down. And they said, Daddy, this one, it won't work. I'll be bigger. They said, watch and see. This man had gone to marry a woman. That's a woman. When you marry them, there, there, there is riches around them. Riches. Anything they sell, anywhere they go, it's women from women, when they come and stand beside, just where you are selling, the crowd will come there. That kind of woman he married. And the guy was doing well above the father. One day he was there, the wife said, Ah, somebody's holding my neck, somebody's holding my neck. Instead of taking her to a prayer church like our own, they took her to CNJ. A medical center, not CNJ, please. To a medical center. She died. She died. They met another time. Father said, Where is your greatest now? He didn't even keep his mouth shut. Where is your greatest now? I said, nobody should be greater than me. You, you don't know. Look, it is in Christendom, I'm telling you. I, 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 I was trying to shy off from saying it. It is in the body of Christ. It is in the body of Christ. We have institutionalized it that people who are sons or daughters must not rise above us. We have institutionalized it and accepted it. So when a son or a child or daughter is rising, we have to press their head down. Institutionalized it. The man killed the son's wife because he was threatening to rise above. I give you three more that we know. Anything that suppresses you is limitation. Anything saying no to your going forward, whatsoever scatters what you gather. You gather small money, scatter it. Some accident or something will happen, you have to spend it. It's limitation. Battles at the edge of breakthrough. Evil barriers to your advancement. Anything that programs evil bar stop to you. You get to a place you can't move forward. And the last one is voices of authors saying you cannot go any further. There are some people when they are praying, they themselves they can hear voices telling them that what you are saying won't go anywhere. This prayer you are praying, do you think that it will happen? Haven't you prayed this prayer before? This die, 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 die thing doesn't work. And the way. <laughs> it's the same power that when you wake up to pray, it says, look, sleep. 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 For how long have you been praying? What have you seen? <laughs> the same powers. When you hear those voices, you know that your prayer is working. I say, you know that your prayer is working. Because it's not your voice. You know, it's not your voice. It is something, it's an external voice that came into your heart. Yeah. It means that they are afraid of your prayer. Tonight, I see God working for you and I. And by the prayer we pray, if you are serious about the prayer, you shall see results. I said you shall see results. Every child of God has limitless potential. Yeah. Limitless. And ye are gods. Why will you die like a mere man? And like a prince, I, I said it before, even good people can be limitation to you. So watch yourself carefully. Know who you are, else even good people will be used as tools of limitation. Gehazi saw this limitation, 
Saul saw this limitation. A man called Demas forsook Paul the apostle. Rehoboam was going to, going to be a big man after Solomon. But he was limited by the folly of the father's house, Solomon's house. And so during his reign, the kingdom was divided. Tonight, the Lord will anoint you a night to be great. I said, the Lord will anoint you a night to be great. Whatever is in you shall come out. Whatever is in you shall come out. What God, you see, maybe mine is pastor, pastoral, but maybe yours is a big business tycoon. It must come out. Yes. Maybe yours is an MD daddy. It, it, must, it must come out. Amen. Maybe yours is to own multinational you know, businesses. It must come out. Amen. I said, whatever God has put in you will come out. Amen. The business God has put in you will come out. Amen. The greatness in you will come out. Yes, the international potential in you will come out. Amen. I see elevation coming upon yes. us. Shall we rise up and start speaking in tongues right now? I am Something is about to happen tonight. Something is about to happen. Elevation and promotion. Tonight we shall be elevated. 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 Jesus, let me pray. These prayers, I. I am going to spend time at midnight and pray them well. So tonight I give you opportunity. Mm-hmm. Say thou power, thou, thou power. power. Say you no. Know Say you no know. to my progress. To my progress. As I put my hands together, as I put and, my hands and, together. As I pray right and as I pray right now, be buried right now. Be buried right now. Be buried right now. Be buried right by now. the power of God. You that power. You that power. Say you no. Know Say you no. Know to my progress. To my progress. As I put my hands together. As I, and as I pray right now, as I be buried right now. Somebody put your hands on the Any power say no to our progress by the power of the living God. Be buried. 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 Somebody Somebody Say you strong man, you strong man that has been assigned to limit my life to limit my life. Say you strong man. I want somebody to be violent. Say you strong man. That has been assigned. To limit my life. You are a liar. As I put my hands together. And as I pray right now. To say die is to say that they should be separated from you. To say die is a spiritual language. That means they should be separated from you. The Bible says the Lord told Adam and Eve that day you eat of this fruit, you shall die. Spiritual death is Say, owners of 
The load of limitation. Onus of, of the load of, of limitation. limitation. Say this prayer very well. Say onus of the load of limitation. Onus of, of the load of, of limitation. limitation. Wherever you are, Wherever you as are. I put my hands together, I I put my hands together. carry your load. Carry your load. Carry your load. Somebody put your hands in that prayer. Carry your load. Any load of limitation. Let your onus carry you. When you are carrying a rope and load in the realms of the spirit, you cannot go fast. You cannot go fast. Holdness of the Lord. Holdness of the Lord. Carry on your time. Let me see this up. Pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I refuse. I refuse. To be, to be detained by the power, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Of the Holy Ghost. I, I, say, I, 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 I refuse I refuse to be detained. To be detained. Put your hands to them pray right now. I refuse to be limited. I refuse to be detained. Pray. We refuse to be detained. Pray. We refuse to be detained. We refuse to be detained. Say thou power of elevation. Thou power of elevation. Last prayer. Thou power of elevation. Thou power of elevation. As I put my hands together, I put my hands together. Say it again. Say thou power of elevation. Thou power of elevation. That promoted Joseph. That promoted Joseph. That promoted David. That promoted David. That promoted Paul. That promoted Paul. As I put my hands together, as I pray right now, as I pray, locate to me, locate to me by fire for promotion. Somebody put your hands up. The power of elevation. That promoted. I will not minister to anybody. Let's pray this last three prayer points. So that when you go on Facebook, you can take it and pray. Say mountain of impossibility. Mountain, 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 mountain of impossibility. Mountain of impossibility. Limiting my problem. Limiting my problem. As I put my hands together. As, 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 as I pray right now. Collapse. 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 And become a player. And become a player. Somebody pray that prayer very well. Any mountain of impossibility. Limiting my progress. And become a player. Standing between me, standing between me, and my rising, and my rising, walls of darkness, walls of darkness, standing between me, standing between my rising, and my rising. As I put my hands together, as I pray right now, break and scatter, break and scatter. Somebody pray this prayer. Walls represent anything, anything that is blocking you from rising, blocking you from advancing. Whether it's a human being. Whether it's a spirit, it's a woman. 
Jesus name we pray. Say every river of Jordan. Every river of Jordan. Last prayer. Every river of Jordan. Every river of Jordan. Standing in my way. Standing in my way. My promised land. My promised land. As I put my hands together. As I put my hands together. You know this prayer is what they mean. The river of Jordan, you know what it is. It was hindering them from entering. The priest had to go through for the, the, the river. It's just like the Red Sea. To dry up for them to cross over to the promised land. You also remember that Elijah, Elijah and Elisha it was a Jordan River. It had to part hither and hither for them to go through. Now what it means is that anything that is blocking you can be river of Jordan. So that's what these prayers are for. Amen. Amen. Say any river of Jordan, any any river river of Jordan standing in my way, standing in my way, to my promised land. To my promised as land. I put my hands together, as I, put my as I pray right now, as I pray right now. Dry up, dry up, dry up, dry up, dry up. Will somebody pray right now? Dry up, 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 dry up. By the talking of the power in the blood of Jesus, Jesus. by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, and by the power and the mercy and the love of God, receive the anointing to be elevated. Receive divine elevation. Receive divine promotion. Promotion proceeded from the north. Promotion comes from the sides of the north. It does not come from the east nor from the west. Neither does it come from the south. But it proceeds from the sides of the north. From the living God. From the Mount Zion of Jehovah God. Receive the oil of promotion tonight. Receive elevation tonight. Receive elevation tonight. Receive the anointing to, to go higher. Receive the anointing to go higher. Receive the anointing for promotion. Receive the grace to be great. Receive the grace to be great. I decree upon you and I decree upon myself. We shall be great. We are great. We shall only rise. We shall not go backwards. None of us shall be stagnant. None of us shall be stagnant. Receive the unction of elevation. You shall see progress alone Jesus. from today. Jesus. Anything Jesus. that has become difficult in the name of for you to achieve, you shall achieve it with ease. Amen. You shall achieve it with ease. Amen. Receive that anointing. Receive, receive that anointing receive that makes things easy to do. That makes things become easy to do. There are things Jesus. that are difficult for you to do. But from tonight, you shall overpower them in the name of you Jesus. You shall overpower them in the name of Jesus. Whatever has become impossible for you Jesus. shall be possible. 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 Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Celebrate your elevation tonight. For a copy of this message and other messages from Rev. Isaac Kuju, please call 0244-816001. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Rev. Isaac Kuju. Rev. Isaac Kuju, author of bestsellers Disgracing Evil Spiritual Marriages and Prayer Bombs, is now live on Amazon. Go to www.amazon.com forward slash author forward slash Rev. Isaac Kuju and purchase your e-version now.